information security management roles and responsibilities. The board of directors elected by the stockholders to carry out their wishes. The board provides guidance, provides desires, what they want done. And they provide this to executive management, primarily the CEO, who's the head of executive management. But you got the other C-levels within an organization. Depending upon the structure, the board may provide only to the CEO, may provide to all the C-levels. The CEO may provide to the other C-levels. The executive management carries out the desires of the board of directors. They steer the ship, especially the CEO. If they don't do what the board wants, they get replaced by the board. Executive management says, here's what we're going to do. The information security steering group provides guidance to the board, provides guidance to executive management, allowing them to make wise decisions, which is then going to be carried out by the chief information security officer who's going to oversee security within the organization, responsible for writing policy for security. Then the audit executives working under the CISO are going to audit the different departments, audit the processes to make sure they're in compliance with the goals. They're going to monitor, they're going to see if people are following procedure, if procedure is constrained. Because you can constrain the procedure and you can monitor it, both an audit for compliance. Keep in mind, compliance is a big part of auditing and that's what they're going to do on behalf of the CISO, on behalf of the executive management for the benefit of the board to ensure money comes in for the stockholders.